Hello and welcome. I'm here today because I'm excited to tell you about the recent release of our RTX 64 product, a fully SMP-enabled 64-bit real-time extension to the Windows operating system. I'm proud of our development team. In order to bring you this product, they've spent the equivalent of more than eight engineering years, including an extensive QA cycle and two beta programs. They understood the importance of this product to Interval Zero to open up new markets and to our customers and partners to build, a, build their products more efficiently and open up new markets for them, them as well. In the short time we have, we want to tell you a little bit more about the underpinnings with RTX 64 and about where we're looking to go with future releases. I'm here with a couple of the engineers who are instrumental in the development of the RTX 64 product. Sunil from the kernel mode team and Fran from the user mode team. So Sunil, if you think back on the development phase, what are the items that were exciting to you about the development of RTX 64? Yes, Brian, so in comparison to RTX 32-bit product line, there are, there are a couple things which excites me the most. Stability and overall 20% performance gain we have, and that without modifying Microsoft Windows hell. So we're not modifying the how. Why is that important to our customers? That makes us 100% code compliant, uh, driver compliant uh, with Microsoft Windows. And we are not virtualized. Our SMP, uh, our kernel, kernel mode components are SMP aware. It has a very concise code base. Uh, it contains an SMP aware architecture, a, f a, priori a fully SMP aware priority based preemptive scheduler that can span up to 63 RTSS cores. So, uh, sorry to interrupt, but 63 cores, how would somebody go about debugging that? So basically with our uh, new debugger, you can uh, debug any threads running on any given RTSS core, put function or data breakpoints, and examine those, uh, the, the values of those threads. Our uh, RTX 64 code base, additionally, our RTX 64 code base is also designed to take full advantage of x64 native hardware. In addition to the kernel mode components, I'm excited about some user mode components, especially the RTX 64 framework, a .NET class library that provides a uh, programmatic API to our customers to configure every aspect of the product as well as control it. They can start and stop the real-time subsystem programmatically, as well as start and stop the, uh, the TCP IP stack programmatically. Additionally, user space applications uh, written to RTX 64's APIs can run in either 32-bit or 64-bit mode. Of course, real-time applications have to run in 64-bit mode. Um, the, additionally, you can uh, write a, a, a RTX 64 application uh, to simply be recompiled to move from user space to the real-time subsystem. So a simple recompile to move from user to, to real-time subsystem. What about customers who already have our 32-bit product? How easy will it be for them to get the functionality now in our 64-bit product? 99% of the applications written for our 32-bit product will simply have to be recompiled. No code changes will be necessary in the vast majority of the cases. Very good. So we've talked some about what the existing product has in it. But as we all know, this is a what have you done for me lately type world. And as a business, we're trying to be as nimble as possible so that we can address our customers' needs and update our software. RTX 64 is just beginning. We're going to continue to expand on the functionality in the product. And in fact, we'll have another release later this year. So with respect to that release, Sunil, what are some of the things that you're working on? So currently, uh, we are working to support our newer platforms as such Windows 8 and Visual Studio 2012 in order to develop and debug any RTSS application across multiple cores. So once again, we're trying to keep in sync with what Microsoft has as they move forward. That's correct. Excellent. And Fran, how about in the user space area? In user space, uh, we'll be developing a, uh, a graphical configuration and control utility layered on top of the RTX 64 framework using the same APIs that we provide to the customers to configure and control the real-time subsystem. Uh, additionally, there'll be a monitoring dashboard that will allow uh, easy uh, development and debugging of uh, real-time objects. So what would be some of the features inside that monitoring framework? It will be a dashboard. Uh, yeah, it'll be a graphical ap application to show the life cycle of every real-time object, processes, threads, synchronization primitives, and handles, uh, among other things. I'd like to thank Sunil and Fran 
for their time. And I'd like to thank you, our customers and partners, for watching this video. You've seen that we have a stake in the ground with RTX 64 and that we're excited about what we're doing going forward with this product. You'll be hearing again from me later this year, and I look forward to hearing from you. Talk to you soon.